Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 18 on Laplace transform. In this lecture, we are going to discuss Laplace transform of the integral of a function. For example, suppose we are asked to find out Laplace transform of this integral, say integral of sine function with respect to u. So, uh, we know that here integration is with respect to u. So, after integrating, uh, we will put u equal to t as upper limit and u equal to 0 as lower limit. So, this is going to be a function of t, say g of t. So, suppose I am interested in the Laplace transform of this function g of t, then one way is I should integrate this function with respect to u and I will find out this function g of t and then I will find out Laplace transform of g of t. But we have another shortcut formula which gives us the Laplace transform of this integral without doing the integration. So that formula is suppose I am interested in the Laplace transform of the integral of function f suppose I am interested in the Laplace transform of this integral of a function f here we are using dummy variable as u otherwise we may write f of t also so this t or this u is a dummy variable because I am using upper limit as t I am writing u here if you wish you can write t also and uh, we will keep in mind that we have to integrate from uh, 0 to t. So, this is dummy variable. We know that in definite integral, we can use any variable as dummy variable. So, I am using u here. Now, suppose I am interested in the Laplace transform of this integral of a function f. Then, I do not have to integrate this function f with respect to u. Instead of that, I will find out Laplace transform of this function f and I will divide it by s. So, this is very easy and a shortcut formula to obtain the Laplace transform of the integral of a function. So, in this case uh, we can observe, suppose I am interested in the Laplace transform of integral, integral of sin u with respect to u. Then using this formula, I will obtain Laplace transform of sin function and then I will divide by s and Laplace transform of sin t is 1 divided by s square plus 1. So, it is 1 over s times s square plus 1 and we can verify this result uh, instead of uh, using this result, suppose we first find out integral and then we take its Laplace transform, then answer must be same. So, suppose I am integrating this sine function with respect to u, then we know that integral of sine is minus cosine and limits of u are from u equal to 0 to u equal to t. So, first we put upper limit as u equal to t that is minus cos t and minus minus plus lower limit is u equal to 0. So, we will have cos 0 that is 1. So, this is integral of this uh, fun function sine function from 0 to t and uh, now we find out Laplace transform of this integral Lap uh, this uh, function 1 minus cos t which is integral of this function. Laplace transform of minus cos t is s divided by s square plus 1 and Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s and if we take LCM, LCM is s times s square plus 1 and I will take cross multiplication. So, this is multiplied with s that is s square and 1 into s square plus 1 that is s square plus 1 this s square will cancel out and we obtain Laplace transform as 1 divided by s times s square plus 1. This is Laplace transform of this integral. 
so here i have i integrated uh, this uh, function sin function from 0 to t and i have obtained this laplace transform and here i am using this formula laplace transform of integral of function f equal to laplace transform of f divided by s and we can compare answer is same here answer is 1 divided by s times s square plus 1 here also we are getting same answer so you can compare both the ways so this is very helpful formula whenever you are asked to find out laplace transform of the integral of a function you don't have to integrate this function instead of that you find out laplace transform of this function and simply divide that laplace transform by s and you will get laplace transform of the integral of a function so we can write uh, this uh, formula for laplace transform of the integral of a function laplace transform of integral of function f from 0 to t with respect to u this is equal to laplace transform of function f divided by s and if we denote the laplace transform of f by capital f of s then we have this capital f of s divided by s where capital f of s is the notation for laplace transform of f of t so we try to find out laplace transform of this integral this question was asked in gtu may 2012 exam so here first we will obtain laplace transform of uh, this function so for that uh, we use first shifting theorem first i have to decide what is laplace transform of this function e raised to minus t cos t so we know that laplace transform of cosine function is s divided by s square plus 1 and because we are having multiplication of this cos function with e raised to minus t we can use first shifting theorem so we will replace s by s minus minus 1 that is s plus 1 here coefficient of t is minus 1 so in this laplace transform we should shift s to s minus minus 1 that is s plus 1 and we will have Laplace transform of this function by first shifting theorem. So here we write s plus 1 divided by square of s plus 1 plus 1. So this is the reason because Laplace transform of cos t is s divided by s square plus 1 and by first shifting theorem. And using first shifting theorem so this is by first shifting theorem and we can simplify this or we can keep this as it is for integral so now using that formula laplace transform of integral of e raised to minus u cos u integral with respect to u this is equal to laplace transform of e raised to minus t cos t divided by s and then we write down this laplace transform which we have obtained by first shifting theorem so 1 by s times s plus 1 square of s plus 1 plus 1 Okay, this is uh, we can give this number 1 and we can write it here that by 1 and uh, we can simplify this uh, square of s plus 1 plus 1 s times s square plus 2s plus 1 plus 1 that is 2 so this is the required Laplace transform so it is very easy to obtain the Laplace transform of integral of a function you just have to obtain the laplace transform of the function which is given inside the integral 
and then divide the Laplace transform of this function simply by s. So here our function is e raised to minus u cos u and we obtain Laplace transform of this function using first shifting theorem and we then divide it by s. So remember this formula, uh, we will uh, require this formula when we will discuss uh, inverse Laplace transform. In fact, we will require all the formulas which we have discussed so far when we will discuss inverse Laplace transform. Inverse Laplace transform is the reverse or inverse process of Laplace transform like differentiation and integration. So we will uh, have, we will require all these formulas which we have discussed and which we are going to discuss for the inverse Laplace transform. So this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.